Hello everyone, welcome back. We are playing Final Fantasy VII. I am your host, Paradox Witch, and we have made it to... It's not really one of my favorite towns, but I do. I love Rocket Town, only just because there is a character here that... I don't know, he's kind of near and dear to my heart. Um, but I'm gonna... Before we head into um, Rocket Town, I am gonna switch up some material because we are gonna have a boss battle um, that we need to do here. Um, I actually wanted to do, okay, um, I actually need, I'll restore, um, heal, I'm trying to see which materia I can get rid of right now, um, I think I can actually get rid of this revive material, at least for the time being. And I'm going to actually equip Eris with the Chocomog. And Vincent, I think I might be switching up. Um, no, I'm actually not. Um, well, yeah, I am. Um, uh, where is that? Didn't, um, oh yeah, he did give us that. Um, added effect, um, destruct is what I want. Um, and then I am going to equip Death Blow with uh, Sniper, um, Sniper CR. Um, I don't think I can do Counter Attack um, Death Blow. Um, but at least for now, Cloud, I think he's doing pretty good. Um, I could have actually... Um, you know what? I might actually do that real quick. Um, you know what? No, I'm not. I was gonna say I was going to take away Eris's Chocomog, but I think I'm gonna leave her with Chocomog. I like her with that. I'm, um, looking through my notes real quick. I finally broke down and got a composition book to write my notes in because I use, like, a little small, like, half legal pad to write notes about the game and everything. I'm just gonna head into the town. Wow. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, um, that's the that's the rocket that we wanna we wanna take a look a gander at in a little bit. A rusty old rocket I wanna why do they make so, something so huge? I don't know, why do they make something of Sephiroth so huge? Um yeah, let's ask him about the captain. Okay. Uh-oh. There was an accident. Is he okay? Okay. Yeah, did you see a man in a black cape? Okay, so Sephiroth just flat out lied to us. He is not... Yeah, he's not in... He, he said that he was going to cross the mountain. Um, hold on. I'll explain. Uh, gun. So yeah, this is like basically a gun shop. Um, hold on. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Okay, so I'm gonna actually buy an earring for uh, Eris. It's gonna boost up her magic um, a little bit more than um, it normally would. Um, Oh, did I not equip her with a gold armlet? Um, and I'll buy this shotgun for Vincent. Even though I am, um, partial to the, uh, the sniper CR. I do. I, it's one of my favorite weapons of the game. Um, yeah, apparently I did not, um, give her a gold armlet. Uh, so let's give her that. And, uh, let's give her the earring. Um, Chocomog, Steel... Um, because I, like I said, I'm keeping her in the back row, um, for at least the time being. Um, I can actually equip that life material. Um, yeah, well, it's called revive material. I keep calling it life material, but it casts life one and life two. Life two gives you a little bit more, um, HP, um, when you're revived. Um, Let's 
see. I do. Like, I, I need the critical hits, though. You know what? I'm I'm gonna take one for the team, at least for now. Um, well, you know what? I'm not. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. It's got a relatively low attack percentage, so I'm gonna leave him with, um, his sniper CR. Like I said, sniper CR, um, it's even, I, for me personally, I think that the sniper CR is even better than death penalty. But we're nowhere close to getting um, Death Penalty just yet. Um, but yeah, look at this one that I gave. Um, that I gave him that. Um, okay. And okay. I think I can actually I can sell. Um, yeah, there's some things that I want to sell because we we actually don't we don't need them anymore. Um, uh, next is speed source. Okay, yeah, I'm. I might keep the Shimra Beta just because I. I think it's like a double weapon. Um, but I am. I. I'm gonna sell this Platinum Bangle, I believe. Oh, wait, let me see what. Uh, how good the Platinum Bangle is before I just start, you know, off selling stuff so I don't have to go back. Oh, dang it! I didn't mean to do that. Um. Yeah, that's relatively low. Even though it's a double, I am going to sell it. Okay. But yeah, what I was saying before is I I broke down and um, after I, I left my grandma's house um, Sunday, I went and got a composition book so that I can actually write down my notes about Final Fantasy and Fallout Shelter and all the other games that we're playing. Um... Yeah, we're gonna sell all eight of those. And we're gonna sell that platinum blank bangle. So now it's gonna be a little bit um easier for me to keep hopefully keep track of everything that's going on. Like things that I wanna make sure that I cover, um, notes about boss battles, stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, I just sold off some of um some of the items that we had because we don't they're they're no longer useful because we've got the gold armlets and um the gold armlets will actually keep us pretty busy for a little while okay um before we go there we're going to talk to these people um yeah let me hear your story um okay so Okay, um, I want to see if there's anything up here, um, I don't think there is anything up here, uh, okay, there's bathroom, okay, um, yeah, there's something in here that we can find, I was just making sure that I didn't miss, um, any treasure chest, cause, like, that's the one thing I haven't, um, written in my notes, I just have, like, the, um, uh, notes about the bus, um, Yes, I would like to stay. Because we, like, we are hurting a little bit after that battle, and we're going into a boss fight, so I just want to make sure that I'm all healed up. Thank you. Um, okay. But yeah, I just have, like, notes about the boss battle with, um, Palmer. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, so the rocket used to be a part of the space program. Okay. Where well, they launched rockets. Uh, you saw the leaning rocket, right? That's Shimmer number 26. Uh, it never got off the ground, though. If you talk to him a couple time, times, he'll give you something. Um, okay. Yeah, um, tell him that you want to take a look at the, um, the rocket with him. Yep, it's rather phallic shaped. Okay, I get so impressed every time I see it. Okay. So yeah, he gives you a, um, he gives you a weapon for, um, Yuffie. Um, we're gonna go into this house real quick. Or are you having a freak out, sir? Uh, um, the man in the black cape. I mean, you and your wife seem like you sleep in separate beds, I think. Okay. 
So apparently you got people, two people who are like bored with their marriage. All right. Okay. Um. I think. Uh. No. I want to go into this house first. Where am I? There we go. Well, let's track a cloud there for a second. Um. Yeah. Let's talk to her for a second. This is an item shop. Um. We're actually doing good on items, believe it or not. Um. So we got. Um. What were you time with? So the extra material, it just lets you, if you're really just getting your ass handed to you, if you equip that um, exit material, you can escape from battle. Um, I'm going to pick up barrier and um, exit material. I don't really use them a lot though. So, okay. Uh, is there anything in here? Okay, I don't know who that is, so I'm not, I'm not going to answer that. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing. If I don't know your number, chances are I'm not going to pick up the phone. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't mean to go out. Um, I meant to go see if there's anything up here. Um, it looks like there's nothing. Um, okay. I wonder if any, like, of the people there actually say, you know what, that's rude, you roaming all over my house. Um... Okay, this is, I think this is the next stop I want to make. Um. Uh. Okay. Wow, somebody has a car inside their house. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, and we've got a drill arm. Um, I think that's a weapon for, um, Barrett. If I'm not mistaken, I'll I'll go back through and I'll look in a second. Okay, so okay, move. Okay. Uh. Uh, may I help you. Nope, we're just looking at it. Okay. What are your names? My name's Cloud. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he just says never mind. Oh, I love you, Vincent. You're a man of few few words. Okay. So you're not with Shinra. Okay, so uh, people from Shinra have been here. Okay. Yeah. Seriously. Like. What would, um, what would Rufus, um, want with this town? Okay, uh, she's not in the bathroom. Let's see, where is she? Um, okay. So I guess she just pooped in it in existence. Um, okay. So he doesn't have anything of terrible importance to say. Um, let's go in this house. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, you kind of suck at your job. So I'm going to just take your stuff if you don't mind. And we got a power source. Okay. So that's all we got in here. Okay. I wooed your house, sir. Goodbye. Okay. So let's go find the captain. I know where he is. Okay. We want to go this way. Um, I'm trying to think. Okay, so there's a bunch of cords and everything laying around. Um, okay, let's see. Let's go up here. And we'll crawl up here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice rocket you got there. It is pretty nifty, I will say that. I love how they polished up this game though, like, it's, I don't know, like, it's, it's nice that they, they redid it and everything, but still, like I said, I'm waiting for, like, the super awesome remake. Oh, let's see. Let's see if this guy's the captain. Excuse me. Um, there you go. What are you guys doing here? 
uh, yeah. <laughs> I love Sid's music. Oh, Sid. Okay. I'm gonna keep him as Sid. In every Final Fantasy game, there's someone named Sid. Um, even in the movies, there's, there's a, um, there's a Sid. I think there's an, um, uh, not Advent Children. Um, let me look up for a second. Um, Spirits Within, because I've got all my DVDs right above my, um, my computer and everything. Um, what do you want to know? Yeah. Tell me about the rocket. Okay, well, not bad for a kid. Alright. That's why it to me, Sid. Um, uh, okay, there was a meaningless war. Oh, I think he's talking about the war in uh, Wu Tai. Um, but yeah, Sid has like a pretty awesome. I will say he has a pretty awesome theme. I'm just turning it down a little bit because it's it's a little loud inside my ear. Um, I actually didn't mean to do that. There we go. Wait, still not in the right position. Um, yeah, that should be good enough. Um, okay, they came up with the rocket engine. So much excitement going around about it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Shimmer number 26. Okay. Um... <laughs> okay, Sid. I'm telling you, he's cocky, but I love him and everything. And I think that's why I kind of, I kind of, here's my little, um, my little guilty secret. I do. I kind of ship Vincent and Sid together because they get together, they get along really well and everything. And he, like, Sid, I don't know, he's, he just comes off as like the, the gruff gay type to me. Uh. Okay. Um, okay, anal, okay, all right, okay, so basically there's a problem with the rocket and so Shinra, they no longer care about space travel and Sid missed out on his dream. Okay. Oh, poor Sid. Yeah. Okay, I don't know which will be first. This thing falling over or me getting out of here. Okay. Okay, Sid. Okay, um, okay, we can't do anything else here. Okay, we can't do anything over there. So we'll just leave, I think we just leave Sid there for a second. And, and if I'm not mistaken, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to Sid's house. I thought there was a fight with the Turks that takes place here, but I think I might be wrong. Okay. Well, here's the thing. We'll give Sid a moment alone. And we'll just we'll just get ourselves out of here. Okay, um yeah. And we're gonna go back to Sid. So do you say anything different? Oh no, you don't say anything different. So yeah, let's go back to Sid's house. Um, yeah. Um, I didn't tell you- oh, yeah, I did tell you my name. Okay, did the captain say anything? Okay. So... Oh. Domestic abuse is not okay, kids. Just letting you know. This is a famous line that everybody loves from Final Fantasy. I actually have a coffee mug that has this next line. Um, well not that line. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. Really, don't mind us. <laughs> and Vincent's is like, okay, that seems like a... Okay. Okay. Okay, Vincent's is like, mm, whatever. It's Tuesday. Okay. It's all our fault. Um... Oh, the heiress did that. Uh, no, he's always, he's always a lovable asshole. Um. Okay. Yeah. So, Eris, she would probably step in if Sid, like, actually hits, uh, Shara. Hey, quit fighting. My cats are next to me and they're fighting over the window still. Uh, yeah. So, he's upset over her big mistake. She destroyed his dreams. Yeah, tell us what happened, sh uh, Shara. Okay. Okay. I'm telling you, Sid, yeah, he's he's a bit of a, like, male chauvinistic pig. But he's he's got a lovable heart. Okay. Um, Sid, I don't think you noticed this, but most humans, we need oxygen to breathe. Seriously, Sid, you should probably listen to her. I mean, she's a scientist. You're just a captain, so I'm not sure how much you understand about, like, rockets, because apparently you don't understand that you need oxygen. Okay. 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 Yeah. Wow. These people really need to get some orange juice in them. They're nearly completely orange. Like, they got some seriously, like, you know, scurvy or, um, I almost said Shinra. Um, they've got something going on. People were not meant to be that orange. Um, well, let's lift this lift off. Okay, I'll be back in a few. Okay. Um, not to be nitpicky, but don't you need an actual spacesuit? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're actually, we're inside the rocket. Okay. Okay, we've got three minutes until we launch. So yeah, Sid, he's super happy. Okay, who's inside the engine? Okay. Okay. Yeah, who's still in there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's trying to keep you alive. Okay. Oh, Sid. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind dying. Yeah, I'm almost done. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh. Yeah, Shimmer don't care. Yeah, she's just gonna have to get roasted to a crisp. Well, here's the thing, Sid. You're probably gonna join us and become a murderer. Hate to break that to you. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna move that out the way. Yeah. Okay. Care. She's happy. Okay, she's got 30 seconds. 
there's nothing that we can do about this. Um, you just kind of have to wait off the timer. Okay. Uh-oh. Um. There we go. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. Now, my screen orientation was bothering me. So, yeah, Sid's having a freak out. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, they added sound effects. Okay, that's weird. So, that's what happened. Oh, they added bird sound effects too. That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah, so, Sid, even though he's a bit of a dick bag, yeah, he saved her life. Um, yeah, it's my fault his dream was all destroyed. Um, Okay. Okay, so Captain Cranky Pants. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Sid, why are you so concerned about us being served tea? <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, Sid, I love him. Like, he's, he's a bit of an asshole, but he's a nice host. Okay. Yeah, where's Rufus? Oh. Hi, you fat tubble lord. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Sid said it. If it ain't the fat man, Palmer. Figure you keep me waiting. Yeah. Okay. No, there's a mosquito. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. He just came flying out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. But you are. You're a fat sack of crap. And this proves it. Hey, T. Ew. Okay, like, ew. Who puts lard in tea? Like, oh my gosh. Like, that is just absolutely gross. Really, does. Does he not recognize us? Like, see. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's talk to. Let's talk to the fat tub of lard. Um, okay. Um, I'm trying to talk to this fat tub of lard, but, uh, Shara keeps getting in the way. Um, oh my. Seriously, gross. Okay, so let's go outside and see what's going on. Um, does Rufus not see us back there? Um, seriously, you've got a fleet of airships, nice airships, mind you, and you want to borrow the tiny Bronco? Yeah, going in the wrong direction. Uh, okay, that's what we want. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh my. Dude, you I'm telling you, Rufus is a dick bag. That's all I gotta say. Just straight up dick bag. Okay. Um, excuse me. Okay, so sh yeah. Um, you want to use the tiny Bronco, right? Uh, okay. Okay, so we gotta go stop that fat tub of lard. Okay. Um, you're a fat sack of crap, is what you are. Okay, seriously? Um, uh, we'll be taking the tiny Bronco, thank you. Oh, 
really? Uh, well, here's the thing. We can actually take him out pretty damn quick. Um. Yeah, he has a Mako gun, but we have Big Guard. Um. I'm actually gonna hit him with Meteor Rain, and I'm going to summon Chocoma. I think um, Meteor Rain will kill him though. Okay. I'm saying he's such a pet little pebble lord. Yeah. Okay, like seriously. Yeah, so our meteor rain pretty much so. <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. He gets hit, he runs off from our fight and he gets hit by a truck. But yeah, like I said, pretty, pretty easy. Check us out. And we got ourselves a Eden coat. I think that's a, um, I want to say that's a, a weapon for Vincent, but I'm not 100%. I'll double check though. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, actually, kind of, I, I do enjoy this scene. So we got the tiny Bronco. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, this looks so good. Okay, the tail's been hit. Oh no! Yeah, let do something. Emergency landing time. <laughs> oh, Sid. If it's just like, eh, Tuesday. Oh no! Oh well, we crash landed. <laughs> eh, Vincent is just like, eh, Tuesday. Okay. Uh, can't we use it as a boat? Eh, I got fucking care, do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, what, I mean, we've taken away your plane now, so, I mean, really, what do you want to do? You want to come with us? We've got room for one more. Okay, aww. Okay, so this is one of my second favorite scenes with Sid. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, that's why I say he has a thing for Vincent. He's clearly not into women. Um, so what are you guys gonna do? I think Vincent's just gonna hang out over there and just be like, I'm here. Um, yeah, for right now, I'm I'm only after like that super sexy guy. Um, that, but, eh, yeah. <laughs> Vincent, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's one of my favorite things about Sid. He calls everybody like numbskull. He just calls, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sid. So, where are we headed? Um, so yeah, Rufus is going after the Temple of the Ancients. Okay. Yeah, where is that? Um, so maybe it's off this way. Okay. Um, yeah, that name kind of, why does it bother you? You would think Vincent being a wielder of chaos, he would kind of know. Um, okay, so the tiny Bronco, it can't go into deep water, but it can skim along the coastline. Um, okay. So, I actually need to check our map to see where we are. Okay, so we're close to Wutai. Uh, we're actually very close to Wutai. 
Um, so yeah, we're gonna actually we're gonna get off right now. Um, but in this little area right here, there are like this this area is completely optional um, and everything. But eventually, like you do want to come here because you actually. I know a lot of people don't like it, but I do. I enjoy um, Utah. It's one of my, my favorite places in um, Final Fantasy. Um, I think it's rumored that um, the, uh, Vincent is from here. Song of the Turks, the, the super like grumpy guy with the mean pimp hand, he's most definitely from um, Wutai. And I forgot... I want to say before crisis you learned that I'm not I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on it but we are going since Wutai is his own separate little optional area but it it does take a while to get through it because we're gonna pick up some limit breaks um and some weapons and there's something else I actually want to pick up here and I don't remember what it was cuz I haven't written it in my notes yet but I'm gonna I know this is for like a kind of short episode and everything but we will we're gonna pick up tomorrow with we're gonna do all of the stuff with Wu Tai. So it's gonna take us a long time because we have like when you get to Wu Tai you have back to back boss battles just as a little spoiler to um let you know what's coming up tomorrow and everything. But actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually save this. I'm gonna save our progress real quick. And then I'll tell you what I'm thinking. So yeah. Um I'm gonna just save over this the Nebel area. So we got all of our um, our party members. Um, we you're not gonna pick up um, any more party members from this point on in the game, and it's pretty much so just a straightforward, like super fun RPG. There's lots of grinding that um, I'm gonna do off camera and everything just to get everybody um, leveled up because the next upcoming boss battles, I'm just gonna let you know right now, I'm probably gonna die a lot. So just be be prepared to see that game over screen a lot. I will try not to die because I have played through this game without dying through a lot of these um, battles, but I also didn't fight uh, a lot of the weapons. So, with that being said, I'm going to end things here. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for more Fallout Shelter and for, for, for more Final Fantasy 7. Until I see you again, like, comment, and subscribe, and, I, and stay safe. I was going to say something else, but stay safe.